Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala ali wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habata fillah A question was asked about uh, the Arabic language and advice for new students of the Arabic language who are learning especially those who are learning in the colleges that you know obviously they have to get the language strong and then they go into their specialization whether it be hadith, fiqh or aqidah whatever the college they're specializing or Quran and so first I want to say is the bottom line is just be patient that you will be surprised what you understand through Mumadasa and this goes back to what we were talking about prior to this uh, when I was mentioning about Sheikh Ab uh, Abu Salah al Afghani and Sheikh uh, Abdullah Mar'i in Aden I mean in Hadramaut uh, and the sittings we had with those mashayikh and the importance of not stopping your talab al-ilm. So the fact that you're in the university, in the Arabic language program, you will uh, you will pick up the language. Don't worry. Just be patient. Continue working hard. Don't get frustrated that you don't understand the mashayikh, but that, sh that will motivate you because all of us have been there. And we're all at different levels depending on the strength of our language. Uh, I will say that when I was, uh, when I came to Saudi and, you know, I initially didn't have any formal Arabic programs and training. I did my studies. I learned in the masjid in America from a brother, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless him. Uh, and another brother who taught me how to read the Quran, just basic, so a few surahs of Jews Amma. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them immensely. And uh, so they helped me, you know, then I went to Yemen and Yemen, I improved, but I didn't have enough when I left Yemen because I stayed such a short time initially. I did, and I went back to America, I didn't have enough really to get into my books. I had a lot of books I'd already purchased there because that was what brothers were doing. And, you know, you get excited about so many books and the world of books opens up, opens up for you. So you buy books, but you know, I, my Arabic was very weak when I initially left Yemen. So, and then I stopped, stopped studying. And again, that's what I say, the end to thought. And you know, then I went back to Yemen and I started kind of really getting into the grammar, getting into Nahu. And it was becoming, it was very good. I had an excellent teacher, a private teacher. And then I also had some students of knowledge that I would sit with who would, you know, uh, go through some books and fiqh and things like this. And so I was benefiting and it was, you know, it was practical. So it was very, all I can say is ladith, you know, it was very beautiful and delicious. You know, you experience that experience, you're understanding more. And then I came back to America and had some inkatha. But that's when I got my first job in Saudi. I went to Saudi. And when I came, also the same dilemma. I, but it requires patience. But I went to Hail Saudi, and in Hail, uh, the she there was nothing formal. You know, there was only Walillah al -ham, some Salafi Mashaykh, Sheikhna Sheikh Saeed bin Halal, Sheikh Aida Shemri, uh, were there, uh, still there. They're from there. Sheikh Aid was almost my neighbor, so that was good. I could, you know, ask him questions and stuff. He wasn't teaching that much, but Sheikh Saeed gave us time. And he even let me be the reader for Shara Sunnah Imam Baba Hari. That improved me because, you know, I'd be nervous. All the students, all the Tulab al Am were Saudis, except for one other American who's also Arab and American. So my Arabic was weak, but it, the Sheikh let me be the reader. So he put the pressure on me. So I learned from that. And then, likewise, the Sheikh wasn't, you know, there was no formal Duru. So it was just sitting in the Duru's. And I would get frustrated. I'd miss Masail, miss issues. You know, we're studying some of Tirmidhi and he would read from Muwatta and he would re read from big books like Atlam uh, Muwaki'in Ibn Al Qayyum. And he would, uh, and then we'd do uh, Bulugh Maram. And, but he taught, you know, I learned so much. And Jazallah Khairan to the Sheikh for being patient with us and raising us and teaching us at the level, private sittings at his house, every Jumwa, you know, lunch with him, you know, that he would uh, at his home and always going to his home, any questions, he loved us and we still have excellent relations with Lillah Alhamd. And what I want the reason I want to point that out is because it's the importance of not stopping. Be patient, you're gonna get it. It's, it's a given, 
you will get it. You're not dropping out, bidden Allah Ta'ala. You're going to get it. So just be patient. Don't worry about it. You miss Fawaid, yes. But the more you sit in those durus with the Mashaikh, you're going to pick up things. You're going to pick up how to ask questions. You're going to pick up how the Tulab engaged the, the scholars. And you're going to pick up, most importantly, the adab and manners of how to ask questions, how the Sheikh responds, how these ulama, especially the ulama and Rabbaniyun, like I said, Imam Abdul Masan al Abad, I can remember in Sunan Tirmidhi, you know, a question that I thought I knew the answer, a basic question about Tahara, and here in this alam, Rabbani, saying, Allahu Alam. And he just, you know, lowered his head, head. And even we know for a fact he knew the answer. This imam has been teaching those books. And it was an issue that wasn't that complex in Tahara, but it humbled me. It let me know. And that was a whole dress, a whole dars, a whole lesson in and of itself to be humble and to learn and 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 uh, and not be in a hurry in many of the manners, uh, matters of sharing the knowledge, of gaining the knowledge, and so on and so forth. So it's very important to have a to understand that. Now I want to also share one last thing about the importance of not stopping. Like I said, I'm not formally now sitting in any durus. You know, I'm living in demand, my work schedule's crazy and among other things. And like I said, I was I'm finishing up my PhD and hopefully may Allah bless me to uh, uh, pass it and so forth. And then I also, because this is my nature, I tend to take on other tasks. I'm also taking another course, which is not, it is related to the Dean, actually hijama. I'm going to be hijama certified. And on top of that, I'm doing this course. And so now we have a test, our Sheikh, Sheikh Ibrahim Rahali, sorry for my cake. This is now, uh, he's explained three books, Usul Talatha, Usul Sunnah, and uh, uh, Usul Talatha, Usul Sunnah. And Qawaid uh, al-Arba. And so now he has a six-page test, <laughs> even though it's open book, but it's it takes a lot of time, especially when you're a worker. So I just wanted to point that out to show you uh, that Talib al it has many ways that you seek knowledge through, you know, especially after you've already had your chance to kind of sit with Mashaikh and or, or you maybe have had formal training in universities or institutes or whatever. You know, you don't want to stop. You want to keep seeking knowledge, and there's so many different ways. This is online. I'm doing with the Sheikh, and this is on a WhatsApp group. Lots of students from around the world are doing this program. It's just a, a, a program. It's four levels in Akida. All it is is Akida books. So we've already taken the first level, and this is the final test for the first level, and I said it's those three books. And we did it within about a month or something. <laughs> these three books so he's kind of going through and in-depth explanations uh very fantastic these books i'm going to use for my institute in fact as a base for some of these uh some of his explanations because they're fantastic and he's going into some messiah uh, you know i'm learning and even though they're texts you've studied many times but you you that's the important important point of studying with the ulama so get the language strong keep going be patient and you will learn so don't be frustrated. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.